Hi, Kyle. I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. I take it one day at a time, every day. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's become so much the story now. I mean, I feel like, you know, you're probably talking as much about how you're feeling as much as you would be about the music. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. And just trying to, you know, give people the right information and let them know how I'm doing, you know, and, and not to worry. You know, I don't want people to think this, but, you know, it just, it is what it is, man. You know, you have to just, just the way how life can throw things in your path, you know, and, and you just got to keep on going. You get a sickness that isn't unto death, but you got to keep moving. You got to keep going. Hmm. And that this cancer is just so, just such a evil, mean sickness for anyone to have to deal with, you know. And um, just how your life and your whole life change and your whole surroundings, everything around you, just, you know, people depend on you, you know. You, you know, I'm scared. People don't realize, I mean, yes, I'm brave. I'm doing this, but I'm scared. I'm also scared. You know, you get, you know, mm-hmm. you, you, you just take it one day at a time. You never know. But, you know, I keep my faith and my belief and, and just stay positive. And, and that's all I can do. And you find you go in then and there's something else coming and you want to hear there's nothing else, but then you find that there's another spot and there's a this and you just, each time you get scared to go to the doctor for your checkup, like, is this going to be positive? Is this going to be, you know, you always throw the, the, you know, the positive part out there, but you still, there's always that concern in the back, you know. Where are you with it right now? Right now, with radiation, I had to do five days of radiation. Um, I finished up my last day with today, and um, now it's just like, you know, um, they watching it, you know, it got to give it time to settle in. I'm, Still got a little pain here and there, and I'm talking with the doctors about that, you know. So it's it's like, you know, that's where I'm at. And I'm just hoping, you know, that pretty soon they, they say it's, it's staying still, nothing coming. You know, it, it's just a matter of, like I said, one day at a time right. each day. I mean, yeah. this is technically like, this. it's the second time around, right? Oh yeah, well, actually, second, third time around. Third because time around. Ever since, yeah, yeah, because first time they saw it on the liver, and then they did the Y ninety thing, which removed them, and then came back in three different places now. So they started the chemo back, and now they had to do the radiation. So yeah, yeah. And, and I don't, I don't want to trivialize any of the times because mm-hmm. every time is got to be the worst. But I mean, is yeah. it is it harder or or easier as you know? That it comes when it comes back around, at least that you know what you're in for. I mean, it's not it's not harder. It, it hurts more because you don't want it to come around. You you want to hear no. You mm-hmm. want to hear nothing. But then you know, realistically, you know you have to accept that. You know, cause the type of cancer I have. It's not like they know it was long and they went right there. Or it was right here and they got it. You know, this pancreatic. They know that when this it, it goes all over the place. So yeah. You know, so it's not, it's really difficult. I, I think I'm, it's more to me now than it was the first time. At least the first time you got it, and then like, hey, then you went for it. Now knowing it's there, and it's like, it's just a matter of, is it going away or is it going to go where it's going to be at? So that's the scary part now, knowing it's there and it can flare up, mm-hmm. but then also knowing that it can go in and just stay away for a while too. How's the uh, the challenge of been uh, of of keeping your routine up this time around, especially touring? I suppose. Oh uh, well, that that was the challenge. Um, doing well, the doctors work with me, you know, spreading it out, you know, the treatments here and there, and 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 going, getting on stage some nights and being in pain, you know, barely being able to lift my legs, you know, but like where am I going to get this energy from? And it comes, but it's just like I. I got through, and each night I'm like, wow, I just want to just not get through. I just want to be okay, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So it's it's a challenge. Yeah. It's a challenge, but um, I at least thank God I, when I get on that stage and those pains are able to go away, I'm able to get through it, to fight through it, you know, so. What you're doing up there without being sick I, I'm sure would, would still be amazing. You know, we would still be just as amazed. It's, it's. I mean, you've always had such an incredible live show th- this whole yeah, time. Yeah. And it's being made, or it's been made into a movie. And you, you know, and that, I know that's why mm. we're here to talk for a little bit. But uh, Miss Sharon Jones, out now and getting great <laughs> reviews in itself. You know, 
New York is going for its third week now, another week. week. Yeah. I mean, how is this yeah. for you? Because, you know, a lot of people don't get to see the, you know, the movie of their life at all. You know, it happens it's, long after we're all gone or whatever, but it's, it's you yeah, know. Yeah, right. You get to experience it. That, that, that's the, the, the good part, to get to see it. And I'm not, I'm still here, I'm alive to see that, you know. Yeah. And, and that's the, that's the unsurreal part. Sometimes you sit back, every time I'm sitting in that audience and I'm watching that movie and watching the people reaction. You know, and then knowing after the question and answers how they come to me, and it, it's just amazing. You know, it, it just like it seems so unreal, but then it is real, and it's me, <laughs> and that's my life, and this is what's happening. <laughs> I mean, is it is it weird watching the movie? It's it's not. Each time I watch it, I I get I get a, I guess I, it makes me even more strong, and it makes me say, hey, I gotta keep fighting. You know, mm-hmm. it it makes you say, yeah, this is why I do what I do because of. The reactions from the the audience, from my fans. This is why I do that, you know. So when I see that, it just shows me that I'm not, how strong I am, and that I got to keep on fighting, and I got to be even stronger, you know. How hands on were you with this movie? Because I, I don't, I know the backstory of it's out there. No hands, nothing. I had nothing. I didn't even see it before they had asked me to come down. I just went in the first time I saw it was the first time in, in Can when it opened up in, in um Canada. Yeah. That was my first time seeing it. I didn't go in and said, Oh, could you take that out or could you do it? no. I had nothing until I got there. And to learn that, you know, what the guys went through with, you know, losing things and I didn't know the band kept that away from me, the problems they was going through because they didn't want to put the pressure on me. Mm-hmm. You know, because they know I'm getting ready to get back out there anyway. I had to, but I didn't need to know that Binky's wife and the boss or this person lost their apartment or this person couldn't get a loan from the bank. You know, it just... So, yeah, all of that was... When I saw the movie for the first time, was a, was amazing to me, you know. And at the ending, I was like, wow, in the red dress at the ending when I'm like, how in the world I move like that? You know, where in the world? You know, <laughs> it's like, to me, I'm like, wow, you know. How the world I know that fast, you know? Yeah. Where is that coming from? You know, that amazed myself. So it's great, you know, to sit back and see that. And 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 the song that we got right off the bat, I'm still here. I oh, mean I'm still, we just did that up recently. That was done after the movie was made in the last uh month or so. We got that out there before the soundtrack was that's out. It's a great sort of, yeah. song and it's almost the the story in itself within the song. It's like the clip yep, note of the is. documentary. <laughs> And the guys helped me, the band. That's why we put down written by Sharon Jones and Dap King. You yeah. know, the whole song, we just, everybody take credit. You know, I want to, because we did. We just sit around the room and, and I just started talking about my life, you know. And you're like, how can I put the cancer part up in there? <laughs> One came up with, don't use cancer. That ain't going to be used where you cancer. What about the big C crashed down upon me? i like, yeah, you know, <laughs> so we. So that's how we, we got it together. Everybody called in and and did this. And, and I want it like that so everybody get credit for it, you yeah. know, that song. And we also work, we already worked on another album, a new album out. I still got maybe about three or four songs that I may have to go in and do some lead, lead back, to, you know, to straighten it out. But other than that, that's what we're working forward to getting another album out next year. Are you finding that any of any of this that's going on with the documentary is influencing influencing what you're doing with the record? Well, actually, no, because we sort of got the songs down. It's just a matter of Gabe getting them produced, getting it all together. Mm-hmm. Like he got like horns and stuff. I, I don't know if he put all strings on all the songs like he's want to, but I know I there's a couple of lead vocals I have to do over. I'm quite sure. And so that's just a matter of going in and, and finishing that up. Yeah. And then Gabe have to produce it. And he got to, you know, this music field, everything got to be out a certain time of the year. So it's got to be done by this time so he can get it ready for, you know, that time. And that's the part on him that they have to deal with now. But main thing is me getting back in there, finish those lead parts, getting the vocals down, make sure all the vocals are done. Are you ready you know? to talk about any of the details? I mean, lyrically, where you are on this record? No, I don't. Cause, no, because I don't even um. We've done the songs, and I can't remember all the songs unless I have them in front of me to list, and I start looking at the lyrics and stuff, and, mm-hmm. you know. Like, uh, I think I've, one other song we did on stage, you may have heard over, it's called Deez, 
these tears are no longer for you, baby. And I performed that during the summer, you know, with the other band. We know we was on the road. Mm -hmm. um, we broke it in, you know, it's a new song. You see how the people react. That's going to be on the album. You know, we did another song called, um, what's that other song? I'm getting it ready for, oh, Sail On. It's another song called Sail On. That's another song from the album, but we throw it in, in, in while we're on stage mm -hmm. and throw it in our set list. So people are hearing a song here and there. Try not to do too many because everything comes on YouTube, you know, and then <laughs> right. people are like, oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, we heard that song already. What's that song in the album? You know, so, yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to hear this record. I mean, everything you guys have put out so far has been so fun. And, I mean, it's always fun. Yeah, it's, it's a great show. and it's a great Yeah. It's, it's different stuff, different people writing in the band, so different songs. I think that's the, with me how my songs sound so different, each song is. You know, because there's somebody, you know, not the same person, right? Gabe wrote a lot of the songs, but when we sit down and everybody chip in and, and makes it different, gives you a different way to go. Because everybody have a different idea, you know, yeah. and a different feel. So that's a good part of of letting their, let them write stuff and, and just coming out there and then telling that story. Well, it's a great story so far. I mean, it's it does seem like like, you know, Luckily, I mean, you're more popular than ever. I mean, the movie does play a part in that, but but even on the last record, I mean, you, you know, had built up the fan base and, and the audience, and they had built and built and built, and it, it must seem like this weird balance that's going on right now with what you have to deal with in your personal life with what is happening professionally. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, I'm like, and I sit back and say, like, wow, this is happening to me now, and, and, and my energy, you know, why this wasn't at the top when I was, you know, you know, out there, and then now I'm like, oh, and this is happening, and I'm, I'm still doing the show, but it's like a such a, a battle to do it, you know. Yeah. So it's such a big difference when when my when my my health was just to the tip top, you know, I feel good, and and now to see that, but it's it's like so weird, you know. But at least it's happening. That's true, you know, and 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 that's good, and not only for me, it's it's good for the band and those guys too, you know, for them to continue on and do more and write and continue to keep going, you know? Yeah. So well, yeah, I encourage them to write more and keep it going. I love every single bit of it. Uh, I can't wait for the music. Uh, we're of course all pulling for you to get uh, uh, back into full health and, uh, you know, and have some fun out there. Well, thank you. That's, that's, that's all what it's all about. You know, sending that energy out there, the positive energy and we just pull for each other. My fans pulling for me and I'm, just want to get out there and do my best thing and right. with the best of health. And I know it'll happen. It will happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sharon. Right. Thank you so much for talking with me today. And, uh, and I can't wait to see well, the band again and, and the new record as well. All right. Take care. Okay, Take now. Care. Okay. All right, bye.